Dr. Moore, can you clarify the difference between isolation and quarantine? So for COVID-19 uh, and for all infectious diseases, if we ask someone to isolate, and this is somewhat technical, you would be a proven case of COVID-19 by typically by PCR test, the nasal swab test, or you'd be a probable a case in case you didn't get tested, so you'd have the clinical symptoms and you were a, a high-risk contact. For individuals who are asked to isolate, uh, you typically develop uh, your symptoms around day five to seven from your exposure date, and you're shedding virus during this period of time, but by day 10, you're no longer shedding virus if you're a normal host. If you have a severe case of COVID-19, we have found that you can potentially shed virus up to 20 days. So typically, if you've been in the intensive care unit or you're immune suppressed or you've required oxygen, we would ask you to isolate yourself for 20 days. And we ha have done that for some individuals who've been in the hospital. The vast majority of individuals, though, clear the virus, no longer shed the virus after day 10. And we don't, in KFLNA, do any subsequent retesting of individuals because you can shed viral particle, but we have much better science now that you're no longer infectious. So it's key to know we test to define whether you have the illness. We don't now need to retest because we're confident in the science. Uh, and, and that was an important question uh, from our uh, community as well. Quarantine is just a technical uh, difference between isolation isolation if you are a case you are isolated if you're a contact we ask you to go into quarantine and we know uh, that uh, the vast majority of individuals if they don't have any symptoms during this 14-day period and have a negative test um, that they won't be infectious to anyone else so we uh, at, at the time of your exposure uh, count that as time zero we monitor you on a regular basis the vast majority of individuals will have symptoms if they're going to develop COVID-19 between day five and day seven from the exposure, but there are some that can develop symptoms even later here uh, towards day 10, 11, or 12. Uh, but the vast majority, over 90%, uh, are going to develop symptoms early, early on. And um, our strategy at KFLNA, uh, let's say if we have a school-based outbreak or a work-based outbreak, um, we would do testing at day five to seven because that's where we're going to catch the vast majority of cases. Uh, and then we count the 10 days forward, um, monitoring you. Uh, and uh, if you haven't had a positive test here, um, we offer a clearance test where at a rate, around day 10 to day 12, we're going to have a 99% confidence later on that you are, if you're testing that ne negative at that point, you won't uh, get the infection. So uh, we have a two testing strategy uh, in certain conditions and outbreaks um, that we offer for anyone in quarantine. And so I hope you know the difference now. Ice, we isolate cases, we quarantine contacts, and there's different testing strategies for both.